large respect in this series we are focused on first fruit offerings simply because I feel this is a restorative work financially that God is doing in the life of the corporate church. Up to this place in the church's history, for most segments in the church, we've just practiced twofold giving in respect of only tithes and offerings. This third dynamic, first fruit giving, is something that along with tithes and offerings is going to bring solidity, substantiability, completeness, and something of the divine nature reflective within our giving. Every aspect of our lives is to comply with God's predetermined righteous standards for how all sons of God should conduct their lives by. It's amazing to me that for many sons of God, we claim that Jesus is Lord of our lives. But when it comes to the sector of our finances, we're not willing to submit to the principles of God vested in His Word governing finances. Admittedly, it takes great faith, courage and boldness to obey the first fruit principle as evidence of the fact that you indeed as a son of God are a first fruit son or a first born son of God. We've been laboring the point that what we do externally, behaviorally, in reference to outward expressions of obedience financially must be reflective of the persons that we are, our identity, our status as God's firstborn sons in Christ Jesus, or as James would put it, the first fruits in creation. We are to exhibit that variously. When you are something in God, to express it will be effortless and inevitable. And because you are it, it doesn't preclude the expression of it. For example, in Scripture, in Colossians, it clearly tells us that we are to be thankful. It says, be thankful. But in the same passage in Colossians 3, it tells us to give thanks. So you cannot exude or express thanksgiving until you are it until you are thankful internally in your heart. Therefore, you can afterwards express what exists within your heart. So thanksgiving must first be thanks living. When you live a life and you have a heart of being thankful, full of gratitude to God, to express it is a matter of course. It's consequent to what you are. The result of expressing who you are will almost then be predictable. Now I'm submitting to all of us today that the practice of giving one's first income minimally the first week in a 52 week calendar year and more, that is symptomatic of the fact that you clearly understand who you are as God's firstborn, as God's first fruit son in creation. This is a token expression of seeking first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all things will be added unto us.